the newsroom. This is Channel 9 News with Brenda Blackman, Lloyd Lindsay Young's weather, Russ Salzberg on sports, and the entire Channel 9 news team. Good evening. We're tracking a breaking story for you right now. An undercover cop shot three times in the Bronx. Scotty Barrett is live at Columbia Presbyterian with the very latest. Scotty, what can you tell us? Well, Brenda, some tragic news at Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center just now. 26-year-old Sean McDonald, an officer for a year and a half in the 44th precinct in the Bronx, was shot dead. He was guarding an unsafe building. This is where it happened, on Grant Highway and Nelson Avenue, when he witnessed across the street in a boutique a robbery underway. I believe four suspects, heavily armed, had walked into the boutique. He went in alone and was shot several times in the chest. Officers responding to the scene did not wait for paramedics to arrive. They put him in a police car and brought him directly here. He has been pronounced dead, and his wife has just arrived. His family has been notified, and we are awaiting statements from the mayor and the commissioner about this tragic incident. Live at uh, Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center, I'm Scotty Barrett, Channel 9 News. Thanks, Scotty. Tough talk and tough... Bodega, they had just robbed. They bumped into the cop, turned, shot him several times. He was rushed to Columbia Presbyterian. He didn't make it. Ed Miller's there now with an update for us. Ed. His name is Sean McDonald, and he worked out of the 44th Police Precinct, Jack, and uh, he had been a cop for less than two years. He lost his life tonight, as you said, in the Highbridge section of the Bronx as he interrupted a... Uh, a deli robbery. He was in the process of putting handcuffs on one of them, we've been told, when the other culprit shot him several times. Even after he was shot, we have been told and learned that he somehow remarkably staggered down the street after his attackers before finally collapsing. Um, about a block away, there was some sanitation police on a different matter. They saw the whole thing happening, and they uh, used his police radio to call for help. They rushed him here to Columbia Press Presbyterian, as you said, but uh, it was too late, and he did uh, pass on tonight. As we said, his name is Sean McDonald, worked um, out of the 44th Police Precinct, and he did expire tonight. I'm Ed Miller, live. Back to you, Jack. All right, Ed. Thanks very much. Okay, let's go to Jerry now in sports. Okay, Knicks uh, beat the Pacers 88 to 82 because... Mark with sports. Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and the Eyewitness News team. Now, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. A New York City police officer has been killed in the line of duty, gunned down as he walked alone on a street in the Bronx. You're looking at a live picture of the scene right now in Morris Heights, that section of the Bronx, where the search continues for the killers. He was the first police officer to die in the line of duty this year, shot several times while on patrol in the Bronx. From there, he was rushed to Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center, and that's where David Ushery picks up the story, live in Washington Heights. David? Bill, we're waiting for a news conference that has been delayed several times throughout the evening. As you can imagine, Mayor Giuliani is here with all of the police department's high command. Details have been very sketchy coming out. But what we do know so far is that a 26-year-old officer who has been on the force for only a couple of years has given his life in the line of duty. According to the Deputy Commissioner for Public Information, John Miller, the young officer was guarding a building unsafe for occupancy in the Morris Heights section. At one point, he walked around the block when his attention was drawn somehow to a nearby boutique where he observed men inside. He confronted two men, apparently suspecting them of robbery. As he handcuffed one, the other pulled a gun and shot the officer several times. The suspect fled. The officer staggered out of the building and up the block where sanitation officers on patrol observed him. They went to the officer, grabbed his police radio, and called for help. The officer was rushed here to Columbia Presbyterian Hospital, where he died. We're told by John Miller that the officer was wearing a bulletproof vest, but uh, there are some areas where the vest does not protect well, and apparently the bullets penetrated those areas. John Miller has asked us not to use the name of the officer, yet they are flying his wife in from Putnam County, which is where the officer is from. We do know his identity, however. Uh, apparently, we're told that he graduated two years ago with his brother uh, from the academy, uh, and his brother may indeed worked out of the 44th Precinct, where, which is where this officer was from. News conference should take place very shortly. We'll have more details for you. For now, reporting live at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital, I'm David Ushery, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you, David. On a better note... ...4th Precinct in search of the gunman, surgeons at Columbia Presbyterian tried in vain to resuscitate the 26-year-old officer. The wounds, though, were too serious. 
The officer had either chased the gunman or staggered out of the store, but doctors say he was mortally wounded. Commissioner Bratton was among those personally visiting the scene of the shooting before returning to the hospital where he and Mayor Giuliani gave the sad news to the family. Now that is going on right now and spokesmen for the police department and mayor's office have just come out and said that that notification has been made. The name of the dead officer, 26-year-old Sean McDonald. He lives up in Putnam County. The mayor and the police commissioner are expected to hold a briefing here in a short while. If we can get back to you with more of that, if it happens in time, we will. Reporting live from Columbia Presbyterian, I'm Dave Browdy, News 4. Now back to you in the studio. Dave, thank you. Well, tonight,